The DRDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has started the development of five units of launcher and control systems for indigenous active protection system for main battle tanks, as well as ten units of central computer and networking system for the active protection system, and four units of infrared sensor laser warning sensor and infrared jammer systems for the active protection system. The Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has invited online bids for the work, that also includes operational and maintenance training. The Indian Army had ordered 145 howitzers from the US for $750 million in 2016, and as per latest reports, BAE Systems has delivered more than 100 units of M777 howitzers to the Indian Army. The howitzers are being assembled integrated and tested by Mohindra Defence Systems Limited as part of the Make in India program. Three more Rafale aircraft with India-specific enhancements have arrived in India last night, and with this delivery, France has delivered the entire consignment of 36 fighters to the Indian Air Force, while the last aircraft with all 13 India-specific enhancements will arrive in India next month. The Indian External Affairs Minister is also in France for a three-day visit to cement bilateral defence cooperation. He is expected to hold discussions with his counterparts for France on sharing technology to manufacture 110 kN thrust saffron aircraft engines in India under the Make in India route, as well as helping India in expanding its nuclear-powered attack submarine capability. The maiden India visit by the Chief of Saudi Arabia Land Forces has significantly enhanced the defence relations between the two countries. As per latest reports, Tato Advanced Systems will be participating in the World Defence Show in Saudi Arabia from 6th March, where it will be showcasing its 8x8 amphibious wheeled armoured vehicle. The WAP has recently completed all internal user trials of Indian Army, and Tata Group and Indian Army are currently working out massive orders, as the Army plans to use the common WAP platform for various intended roles like wheeled armoured personnel carrier, 30mm infantry combat vehicle, 105mm light tank, command post vehicle and 120mm motor carrier. Turkish Aerospace Industries has announced that it will collaborate with Pakistan Aeronautical Complex to develop the TFX fifth generation fighter jet that will replace the American made F 16 in both countries from 2030 onwards. The prototype of the TFX fighter will be unveiled in 2023, and the maiden flight is expected in 2026. Turkish Aerospace Industries has not released the role of Pakistan Aeronautical Complex in the development of the TFX, but experts have said that it is unlikely that Pakistan will have any major work share in the program, due to lack of aeronautical experience in the country. India has put its plan to acquire 30 Predator armed drones on the back burner, mainly due to the prohibitive cost of the platform, as one Predator drone with armed payload would have cost India nearly $100 million. The DRDO is expected to unveil its medium altitude long endurance drone in March, that will be cheaper to operate, and will provide almost identical air to ground capability. The RDO Young Scientist Laboratory have started work on a new class of load-carrying vertical takeoff and landing UAV, that is capable of operating from high-altitude bases for undertaking logistic operations. It will feature artificial intelligence-based target tracking and accurate launching and landing, and will be driven by eight propellers, and will have the capacity to airlift around 50 kilograms of cargo over a distance of 10 kilometers. It will have a carbon composite airframe, and will have a gross all-up weight including payload of less than 80 kilograms.